<clears throat> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. Today we are looking at a very dark ink from Private Reserve, Private Reserve Ebony Purple. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing the sample for this review. Here is our ink. It is very dark. It almost looks black. And if I didn't know better, I would think it was a black. <clears throat> Here is our ink swatch. It does have a permanence to it, which is nice. <clears throat> Here is our ink splotch. That will make a wonderful postcard one day. And here's our toilet paper chromatography. I see a dark, dark purple, and then like a turquoise blue, and then like right along the edge of that, there's a sky blue. I don't know if you can see that or not. <coughs> All right, let's do some paper review, shall we? But first, let's share this with our friends so they can come and hang out with us too. Do, 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 do. How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. It is a nice cool day here in sunny Southern California. 65-ish degrees. Mostly cloudy little bits of sun here and there which is extra nice at this time of year because it's right at the beginning of summer time and uh, it's gonna be hot I can tell you all right now it's gonna be an absolute scorcher Let's do some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. Zoom in just a little bit. No feathering. <coughs> no bleeding, no gusting. Traveler's Notebook. <clears throat> Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no gusting. Lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no gusting. 52 GSM Tomoy River paper. No feathering. Little bit of bleeding though. Hmm. This is Moleskin 70 GSM. Feathered like a chicken, bled right through the page, and onto the next page, which I might not use the front side. I might not use this paper with this ink. <coughs> This is a Yush 100 GSM paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. 80 GSM Rhodia dot pad. No feathering, no oh, bleeding and ghosting. Jot journal from the Dollar Tree. It does feather into the page and it did bleed through the page. The Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. <coughs> the 
it did feather into the page, and it did bleed, bleed through. Excuse me. Nemesine 80 GSM. It does look like it's trying to feather. Yep, definitely feathered into the page. And it did bleed through. This is <clears throat> Oxford Optic Paper. Feathered like a chicken. Bled through the page. Oof. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. Barely any feathering. Little bit of ghosting, though. <coughs> Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. It did feather into the page. And it did bleed through. I might want to use a finer nib on, with these um, inks, but these are the worst case scenarios. So take that into consideration. Exceed 100 GSM from Walmart.com. And it did feather into the page. And it did bleed through. Unison Composition Book from Target for 50 cents. No feathering whatsoever. No bleeding, no ghosting. And I do have some excellent news. I got a whole shipment of Unison Composition Books over there. That I will be giving us prizes at the next pen club meeting, so that will be fun. Alright, this is True Red Composition Book from Staples.com. Let's see. Oi. Feathered like a chicken, bled right through the page. Oof. Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. It does look like it feathered into the page and it did ghost through. 68 GSM Tomoy River paper. Back this up just a little bit. There we go. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. CVS caliber notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford notebook paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Mead, wide rolled notebook paper. Feathered like a chicken. Bled through the page. <coughs> U style notebook paper. Feathered like a chicken. Bled through the page. Of course, these are the worst case scenarios, so just keep that in mind. Five star notebook paper from Mead. Barely any feathering, but it did ghost through the page. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. Feathered like a chicken. No ghosting, but tiny bit of ghosting. This is new paper. This is Acabe, Aquabee. I will 
show you the tablet. This was a gift. This is a pen, <coughs> a gift from a pen friend that I met at the OC Pen Club, Aquabee. Cross section pad, another fine B product. 20 inches, uh, 20 by 22, one inch. It says, 11 inches by 17 inches, 30 sheets, made in USA. And I've cut it into, I've cut it in half, basically, so it would fit <laughs> in the rest of the paper, so otherwise it would hang out, so. All right. Well, I did feather into the page. And it did bleed through. This is <clears throat> J&B Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com. No feathering, but bleeding and ghosting. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. It does look like it's trying to feather into the page, and it did ghost through the page. That's too bad. Okay, let's do a comparison panel. <clears throat> I don't know where this one lies, really. It looks blue, it looks purple, it looks black. So we're going to try some inks that perhaps look black. I'm going to go with um, some <coughs> blue blacks that look black. Pure pens, saltire, no. Fountain pen revolution blue black. Vinta inks Venta Inks Blue Blend, Diamine Herbert, Diamine Deep Dark Blue, Diamine Ruby Blues, God bless you, John. Diamine Bloody Brixit, Monteverdi Blue Velvet Cake, Diamine Stargazer, Diamine Storm, Diamine Maureen, KWZ Sheen Machine, Diamond Michael, let's see if there's any of these in here. <coughs> Sailor Saboku, pigmented deep blue, no. Tasha Jeans Dark Washed. Okay, that's all of the blue gray. What about purple? Are there any black purples? Let me see. I mean, Robert looks more red. Kiwi Inks, Hipponoto X version 1, more red. Lamy Dark Lilac. Diamond Festive Joy. <coughs> Diamond Imperial Purple, Giobat Violet Boreal, no. Ah, here we go. 
Diamond Winter Miracle. Tacha Murasaki Purple. No. Diamond Bilberry. Hmm. Noodler's Brexit. Birmingham. No. Diamond Michael. Diamond Amazing Amethyst. Mm. Diamond Philip. Diamond Lombardo's Hat. Monteverde Amethyst. Robert Oster Dragon's Knight. It's more of a purple than a black or a anything like that that I can see of. <clears throat> Let's see if I have any black inks that kind of resemble this purple hue. Robert Oster, Black or Violet. PMBBS 270. No, not really. PMBBS 4, uh, 346. Mm, not really. Wow, this is a very interesting ink. Like, doesn't have any inks that are spot on. Twilight, no. Diamond Earl Grey, kinda. But none really lean that purple. Like that super dark purple. Except maybe like one or two. It's very interesting. Well, what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a almost black purple ink Pref it's got a lot of it's got lots of problems it does feather and uh, bleed through on most papers so I recommend the CVS caliber notebook paper I recommend the <clears throat> unison composition book And I recommend Tomoy River. So, that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you, bye.